Tonight is about the future. We're here to show you where we're headed and the games that we're creating that you'll soon be playing, the worlds that you'll be inhabiting in the next year and beyond. So, we're starting with a game that we announced a few weeks ago through our friends at Walmart Canada. <laughs> perhaps best known for their low prices and ability to keep a secret. <laughs> so let's get things started with a look at Rage 2. again through Andrew W.K., the perfect song for Rage 2. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Tim Willits, and I am the studio director at id Software. And I'm Magnus Nedvars, game director at Avalanche Studios. <laughs> and we're here to say that Rage is back. Now, we had a ton of crazy ideas uh, when we started planning Rage 2. 
and we needed the right studio to bring our vision to life. Now, we've admired the open world chaos in all of Avalanche Studios games. And as we're about to show you, they delivered big time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Tim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, speaking for everyone at Avalanche Studios, this is really a dream to come true for us. The world of Rage 2 is perfect for our style of gameplay. But even more exciting than that has been to work with these guys that did software. These guys invented the first-person shooter. And they still make the best shooters out there. So it's been a really great collaboration to bring you the most insane open-world shooter you have ever played. So Rage 2 transports players into a dystopian future, devoid of society, law and order. Now you play as Walker, the last ranger of the wasteland. Now, you know, I can talk all night about our guns, the powers you'll use, the vehicle combat, and of course, you know, the crazy uh, open world. But I know that you are here to see the game. Well, not only do we have Rage 2 playable at our booth at E3, but we've got for you an extended look at the world and gameplay of Rage 2. Let's check it out right now. Yeah. on a collision course with Earth. Global extinction event. 80% of the Earth's population dead. God turned his back on humanity long ago. It wasn't a war. It wasn't global warming. It was a fucking asteroid. I was born in this shithole. Parents murdered. An orphan of this wasteland. An army of mutants killed everyone I ever loved. All that's left is hate, fear, and the need for survival. You see, part of growing up was watching everything get taken from me. I stood by, did nothing. And now, I'm the last ranger of this wasteland. And there's only one thing left to do! Hello, E3, and welcome to the world of Rage 2. In a moment, we'll dive headfirst into the Eden Spaceport mission, where Walker, our main protagonist, is out to find a rare artifact that will aid him in his quest to take down the Authority. Doctor! Approaching the Eden Space Center. Ah, yes, I forgot to say. It might be overrun by bandits. The Goon Squad, to be precise. You must likely slay them first, before pulling down the Ecopod from orbit and securing the untainted nanotrites therein. Made it to the space center. Keep your wits about you, Walker. The goon squad may look whimsical, laughable even, but believe me, behind their playful appearance, they are very, very dangerous. Ah. 
on the wall. It's motion sensor activated. Is the rocket the crusher talking hacking? And it can be yours while they black. Rage. Made it. I know, and so does the authority. Hurry, get the untainted nanotrites and get out. Also, for you, there is an extra boon. Something that will make you a veritable superhero. Elevator still running? So far, so good. Looks like Ranger Walker's gonna get a bit of a boost today. Holy shit! 